Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Quartet Lesson 8 Part 2 live stream. Tonight, we're going to be covering Ta mono da kaete uchi ni noun nari ni noun ni kodo kodawaru. Those are the five sections we're covering today in Part 2 of Lesson 8. These are the colors for each of our live streams. We have light blue for the new grammar points. These are the colors for words that haven't shown up yet in any of the lessons we've covered so far. And we mark them by their JLPT level or whether they're common so that it's easy for you to see whether or not you should maybe know them by now. The first section we're going to be covering tonight is used to do with ta mono da. But before we get started with that, I just want to mention that this live stream is of course sponsored by all of the members of tokiniandy.com and the Patreon and all of the members here on YouTube. Thank Thank you so much for being members here and uh, it's because of you guys that were able to keep making these lessons. The first thing we're going to be covering today is used to do in the past, right? Used to do with ta, ta being the past tense, mono da. So to create this, we just need the short past tense of a verb, which is of course the ta ending and mono da after that. Now, this means I used to do something and it sort of indicates that you're kind of a nostalgic about it. And it's also sort of literary. You're not going to be using this in conversation very frequently. You're not going to hear it in conversation very much. But if you're if you're, you know, reading a book or something or listening to narration of some sort, uh, this may show up in that not super frequently, but every once in a while. And it means I used to do this thing. I feel kind of nostalgic about it. I don't do it anymore. Okay. So you're probably not going to use it in conversation much. The first example sentence for tonight is Watashi ga shogakusei no koro wa imoto tachi to yoku Disney no video wo mita mono desu. So when I was in elementary school, I often watched Disney videos with my sisters. So let's break this one down. You'll notice that I'm only having one sentence on each page tonight. Um, that's how I usually do the bonus grammar sentences videos on the tokenandy.com website. And I decided to just leave it like that because the sentences are getting longer and longer and it's a little bit easier to focus on a single sentence if there's just one on the page. So I decided to just leave it as a single sentence per page. So in case you're wondering. So let's break it down. We have watashi ga. So I'm the subject of the sentence. Shougakusei no koro. So when I was an elementary school student. Shougakusei is elementary student. Wa. So that's the topic. So when I, I was an elementary school student. Imoto tachi to. So together with my younger sisters. Imoto tachi to. Yoku. Often. Disney no video. So Disney videos. Wo. That's the direct object of. Mita mono this, so the past tense of miru to look or, or to watch is mita, and then you add mono this to just imply that you used to do that, you're nostalgic about it, and you don't do it anymore. So when I was in elementary school, I often watched Disney videos with my sisters. I'm nostalgic about that. Not me, probably Yuki. All right, so kodomo no koro wa natsu ni suika no tane wo tobashite asonda mono asonda mono da. So when I was a child in the summer, I had fun shooting watermelon seeds. And by shooting, I mean like, you know, shooting them out of your mouth. Breaking this one down, we have kodomo no koro. So when I was a child, wa, that's the topic. Natsu ni, so in the summer, natsu ni, suika no tane, suika no tane is watermelon seeds. Wo, that's the direct object of. Tobashite, so tobasu is to like, to like, not to throw, but like, to shoot out or something like that, right? Tobashite. So it's te form, uh, connecting to the next part, the next sentence or whatever, which is asonda mono da. I, I shot watermelon seeds and played mono da, and I'm kind of nostalgic about that. And I don't do it anymore. Next one is chisai koro wa kazoku de yoku Disney lando ni itta mono desu. So when I was, a sm was small, my family often went to Disneyland. Seeing a theme here? Chisai koro wa. So when I was Young or when I was small. Wa? Kazoku de. So as a family, as a family. Kazoku de. Yoku, again, often. Disneyland ni. So in the direction of Disneyland. Itta mono desu. So I went to Disneyland often with my family or as a family when I was small. I'm nostalgic about that. Don't do it much anymore. That's what's implied here. Next sentence. To Tokai ni sunde itta toki ni wa. Depato ni kai mono ni itta mono da. So breaking this one down, uh, when I was living in the city, I went and shopped at department stores. So Tokai is a city. Tokai ni sundeita toki. 
So when I was living in the city, niwa. So we're toki ni. So in, in that time, in the direction of that time, right? And that all is the topic. So niwa departo ni. So in the direction of a department store, kaimono. Kaimono is shopping. Ni itamono da. So I went shopping at department stores when I lived in the city. Or when I was living in the city. And I don't do that anymore. Maybe I'm not living in the city is what this implies. And I'm sort of nostalgic about that. All right, next one. Natsuyasumi. Saigo no hi ni wa. Tetsuya de shukudai wo yatta mono da. So on the last day of summer vacation, I stayed up all night and did homework. So breaking this one down, we have Natsuyasumi. Saigo no hi. So Natsuyasumi is summer vacation. Saigo no hi, the final day. Niwa, so on that day, and that's the topic. Tetsuya de, so Tetsuya is staying up all night. Tetsuya de shukudai wo. So my homework, and that's the direct object of, yatta mono da. So I did my homework by staying up all night on the last day of summer vacation. And oh, that's so, so nostalgic. I'm, I'm not so stupid anymore. I do my homework on time, for example. Next sentence is, Bukatsu wo yatte ita koro wa gohan wo. When I was doing club activities, I had seconds of rice and ate a lot. So, bukatsu is club activities. Um, most kids in not necessarily, not elementary school, but from middle school, so around 11 or 12 years old, I think, until through high school, they have club activities. So, generally, kids will finish school around two or three. But then they stay at school and are doing their club activities until like 6 p.m. usually. Most kids, right? 5, 6 p.m. Not all of them, but like 90% or more probably are in some kind of bukatsu. So bukatsu yatte ita koro wa. So when I was doing club activities at that time, gohan wo. So rice. This could also be food. It could also be food. We decided to be specific about rice here. But it, the word gohan could imply just food in general or rice. It could be either. So gohan wo okawari shite. So okawari suru means to have seconds or to have or to just have more. It might be thirds or fourth. Well, it doesn't matter. So when you're done eating, you say okawari kudasai. So please seconds or please more. Okawari shite takusan tabeta mono da. I ate a lot. I don't do that anymore very much maybe. <laughs> and I'm nostalgic about it. It was a good time when I was a kid like that. Okay, so <clears throat> for the first time in a while, because I've been so sick and the holidays and I haven't really had time to do it, um, we haven't had these stories. Usually we have a dialogue here and I had planned to do a dialogue one week in one of the sec one of the parts and then a story like this or like a journal entry or something like this to give us a little bit more reading practice. Um, I haven't had time to do it in many of the lessons and a couple people were asking about it and I wanted to get back to it. So we have one of those for us this week. We're going to have a long sort of journal entry for that continues through all of the sections and we're going to have Yuki read it. So Yuki's going to read it and then I'll break it down. Hi. Hi. So I'll go ahead and Hi. go through here. Daigakuseになった頃は メールやMSNメッセンジャーをしたり、ビデオチャットでよく話したりしたものだ。でもなぜか大学1年目が終わった頃、そういう友達とは話さなくなった。その友達がみんな忙しくなったせいか、俺のリア友が増えたせいかは
I don't know, butterflies or bananas in chat right now. Okay, so MSN Messenger oh, study. So I did things like email them and messen MSN Messenger with them. Video chat de yoku hanastari and talk to them via video chat. Stamono da. So I did things like email, messenger, video chat, talking to them on video chat. And I'm nostalgic about that because I don't do it anymore, is what's implied with the mono da. Okay. The next section is demo naze ka. But for some reason, naze ka daigaku ichi nenme ga owatta koro. So when my, around when my I finished my first year of university. Daigaku ichi nenme ga owatta koro. Around when I finished my first year of university. So you tomodachi to hanasanaku natta. A to wa hanasanaku natta. So I stopped talking to those kind of friends. So you tomodachi. Those kind of friends. To wa. So to is together with. And I want to emphasize what comes next. So we have the wa particle here, which marks before it as a topic as well, but also mostly emphasizes. Hanasanakunatta, because that's the main thing I want to emphasize in this sentence. That I stopped talking to them, or I, for some reason, didn't talk to them anymore. Sono tomodachi ga minna isogashku natta se ka. Ore no ria tomo ga fueta se ka wa karanai kedo. So let's break that one down a little bit. We, we're not finished with the sentence, but let's, we, can, we can get something out of it. So, sono, sono tomodachi ga minna. So, those friends, everyone. Minna isogashku natta se ka. So, se is like, it's sort of a negative, but it, it means like, um, se, I can't remember the literal translation of se, um, but it's like, that's the reason for something. So, I think the literal translation is, ah, uh, the con result or to blame. Yeah, to blame would be the, would be the literal translation. So, I don't know whether the fact that they became busy is to blame or... That's the ka there. Se ka. Then that, that ka means or. Ore no ria tomo. So, ria tomo is sort of net slang for real life friends. So, we have down here, uh, whether it was because they had all become busy or because my real life friends. Ria tomo. Ria tomo ga fueta se ka. So, because my real life friends had increased. So, whether it's the, that's to blame. Se ka. Wakara nai kedo. I don't know. But. Netomo wa. Hitori mo inakunatta. So, there's another more another fun word we have. Uh, remember, online tomodachi. Online no tomodachi was at the beginning of this, this thing. But here we have netomo. So, the net slang for online friends is netomo. And that tomo comes from tomodachi. So, netomo. And there's no te or anything after net. It's combined with tomo. So, ne with a small tsu. Tomo, net tomo. And remember, real life friends is dia tomo, dia tomo. So those are some fun little words we have tonight. Uh, before I knew it, not a single one remained. And that's 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 how we start this story. Or, or journal entry or whatever. Story about my past, I'd say. The question time for this section. Uh, you can ask any questions you'd like at this point as well. But the question time is... Anata wa chisai koro. So when you were young, donna koto shita mono no desu ka? Shita mono desu ka? So what is something that you did that you're nostalgic about but don't really do anymore when you were small or young or whatever? And we read this example before, chisai koro wa, so when I was young. Yoku itokoto tachi to atsumatte. I gathered together with my cousins often. Obachan no ie de asonda mono des, and I we played at my grandmother's house. <clears throat> the next example was shogakusei no toki wa. So when I was a, an elementary school student, imoto tachi to, so with my younger sisters, niwa de, so in uh, utilizing the garden, <clears throat> baleboru no renshu wo, so volley, volleyball renshu, uh, practice, wo shita mono da. I did volleyball practice with my sisters in the garden. When we were, when I was, around when I was uh, in elementary school. And I'm nostalgic about that. Don't do it anymore. And we're going to move on to contrary to expectations with kaete, kaete. All right. So this just means like it can be translated as unexpectedly. Um, but in reality, when you're translating these kaete sentences into English, it's quite frequent that there's like, there's no real nice English to replace it with. 
Uh, it ends up being sort of just implied in the sentence. You'll see what I mean when we go through the sentences. I did try to add English for it as much as possible. Um, but it's not always unexpectedly. It could be like in the end. But basically what it does is it gives you a situation and it says kaete something, something, something. And what that something, something, something is, is a result that was just unexpected. You thought something else would have happened or you thought you would have done something else or you thought yeah the situation would have panned out a different way but unexpectedly it went in this direction and that's all this just marks that it marks this whole situation that is contrary to your expectations the first one is gakusei no toki no mono wo katazuke you to shitara kaete chirakatte shimatta so when i tried to clean up the things from when i was a student they ended up all over the place. So, gakusei no toki no mono. So, we have a long uh, no string here. And that is the things from when I was a student. So, the things from when I was a student. Wo, that's the direct object of. Katazuke yo to shitara. So, when I went or tried to clean up or organize my things from when I was a student. Kaete. Chirakatte shimatta. So, chirakao means to. Uh, chiraka, chirakaru. Ch, chirakaru, ne? Chirakaru means to be. Um, I, I don't know if we've actually covered that. And that we might have. Chirakaru. That might have been one we should have marked. Uh, yeah, it's JLPT N2 word. It might have shown up already. But anyway. Um, chirakaru means to be spread out all over the place or just to be scattered all over the place. Uh, and obviously, if you go to clean things up, you would expect that. They would get cleaned up, but unexpectedly, kaete shirakatte shimatta. They, it, they went all over the place. They got scattered all over the place. The next one is shigoto no tame ni kohi wo nondara kaete nerenaku natta. So when I drank coffee for work, I ended up unable to sleep. Okay, so you see that I translated kaete a little bit, a little bit differently. Um, it not just unexpectedly because in the English here. Uh, I guess it would have worked as well, but I just thought it ended up sounding a little bit better, and that is a way I've gone and translated it in a few of these sentences. But breaking it down, we have shigoto no tame ni. So for the purpose of work, kohi wo. So kohi is the direct object of nondara. So nondara is when I drank coffee for the purpose of work. Kaete nerenaku natta. So I unexpectedly, or I ended up, unable to sleep or I became unable to sleep so yeah you you drank for work so you thought you could do work better but an unexpected outcome of that was that you couldn't sleep that night and that's what happens to me if I drink coffee in the afternoon I'm in trouble even though I would love to drink coffee all day long next sentence is Junbi shita dogu wa tsukawanakatta no de kaete jama ni natta so we didn't use the tools we prepared so they ended up in the way or they were unexpectedly in the way you expected that you were going to be using them but that's not what happened they ended up in the way so junbi shita dogu so junbi suru means to prepare something so junbi shita dogu dogu is tools so the tools we prepared wa that whole thing is the topic the tools you prepared tsukawanakatta no de so we didn't use them so, no de, kaete jama ni natta. So unexpectedly, they were in the way. They got in the way. Jama is to be in the way. Kaete jama ni natta. They became in the way. All right, next sentence is, file no format wo atarashiku suru no wa kaete jikan ga kakatte shimatta ga kore kara sagyo ga raku ni nari so da. So it took an unexpectedly long amount of time to make the new file format, but it looks like work will become easier. Breaking this one down, we have file no format. Pretty easy, right? Just sounds like the English. Wo atarashiku suru no wa. So making it new, suru no wa. So that whole thing, the making the file format new, where we that no allows us to treat that as a noun and mark it as a topic. No wa kaete jikan ga kakatte shimatta. So unexpectedly, it took a long time, right? It unexpectedly took a long time. You expected it to be fast, I guess. But, ga, kore kara, from now on, sagyo ga, uh, raku ni nari so da. So, sagyo is like work, basically. Uh, just work, yeah. Things you're doing with at work. 
ga, the subject, raku ni naru means to become easy. Raku ni naru. And uh, we're doing the looks like. So, raku ni narisou da. It looks like work will become easier from now on. Testo mondai. <clears throat> Testo mondai wo kantan ni tsukurou to shita ga, kaete muzukashii mono ga dekita. So I attempted to make the test problems easy, but I ended up with something difficult. So breaking it down, we have testo mondai wo. So testo mondai is the problems on the test. Wo kantan ni tsukurou to shita ga. So kantan ni tsukuru means to make them easy. Kantan ni tsukuru, or yeah, make them easy. Kantan ni tsukurou to shita. So I tried to, or I attempted to make them easy, but ga. Kaete muzukashi mono ga dekita. Kaete unexpectedly muzukashi mono. A thing that was difficult ga dekita. I finished something difficult. I made something difficult. Sono toki wa netto mo ga inakunatta koto sae kizukana katta to mo. Kaete kare ra yori riato mo ga taisetsu ni natte ita kara ka mo shirenai. Sore to mo. 本当はいなくなったことに気づいたかもしれないけど、俺の記憶がおかしいほど消えてしまっているのだろうか。とにかく、またネットもができたのは今から2年前だ。でも、あの時と何か違う。Okay, so let's break this one down together. We have The first word is quite long, so we'll break it down slowly.、Uh, その時は、so at that time, ネットもがいなくなったことさえ、so I,、uh, well, let's just finish, finish the sentence. 気がつかなかったと思う、so I think, と思う、that I didn't even realize,、uh, 気づかなかった、あのことさえ気づかなかった、the fact that, that's the こと。My online friends disappeared. So, ネットもがいなくなったこと The thing which is my friends disappearing, さえ even that thing, 気づかなかった,なかったと思う I think I didn't notice. 帰って彼らより So, unexpectedly, maybe less than them, リアトモが大切になっていたかもしれない So, perhaps, the かもしれない My real friends, リアトモが became more important to me. 大切になっていたからかもしれない。Maybe it was because my real life friends became more important to me than them, which was unexpected. I didn't expect that, I guess. Maybe I unexpectedly started to care more about my real life friends, is what I wrote here. それとも、or perhaps, the, or the truth may be, 本当はいなくなったことに、so in the direction of them disappearing, the thing which was them disappearing, 気づいたかもしれないけど、so I noticed, possibly, but, 俺の記憶が、so my memory, subject, おかしいほど、so to a, a strange level, 消えてしまっているのだろうか。Or maybe perhaps that my memory has disappeared to a very ridiculous level, is what that basically means there. So reading it all out, at that time I think I didn't even realize the fact that my online friends disappeared. Maybe I unexpectedly started to care more about my real life friends. Or the truth may be that I did realize they disappeared, but My memory completely disappeared? Perhaps? Okay. The next sec part of that was とにかく at any rate, またネットもができたのは今から2年前だ。So, また so again, ネットもができたのは so the thing which was making online friends again のは今から so from now, 2年前だ。two years before. ですだ。でも but あの時と At that time, or compared to that time, と何か違う Something is different from that time. あの時と何か違う Something is different from back then.、Uh, for those of you who are wondering and do remember Mushido, which we've already covered, a big difference between Mushido and Kaete is that Kaete, it, it, it helps you, it lets you mark. An outcome, a, a thing that happened that was different from what you were expecting. Whereas Mushido tends to mark a thing, an opinion, or some feeling you have about a thing, or some way you think about something, which I guess is an opinion, that is different from what most people would, would expect, or what would be normally expected. And this is what you think about that thing. So that's the kind of situation you're generally going to be using Mushido in.、Uh, but for situations where I expected this to happen, but this happened. Kaete is a little bit more 
common. It is more common. It's the one you're going to use. All right, the question time is, 頑張ったけど変えて失敗したことは何ですか So even though you worked hard, what is something you failed at? Unexpectedly, unexpectedly. So for example, 痩せるために運動をしたけど So for the purpose of losing weight, I exercised, but ご飯がおいしくおいし,おいしくて、uh, rice or food is delicious and 帰ってたくさん食べるようになった。Unexpectedly, I started to eat more. I became eat way more. <laughs> the other sentence is the one we read earlier, which is どしゃぶりで干していた洗濯物が汚れて帰って洗濯物が増えた。So, どしゃぶり fun word.、Uh, a downpour, due to a downpour, 干していた洗濯物 the The laundry that I had hung up, ga, subject, yogorete, it got dirty, and, kaite sentaku mono ga fueta, unexpectedly, I had a lot more laundry. So, how about you guys? Something you worked hard on and expected to do well on, but unexpectedly, it didn't go so well. Kaite shippai shita mono wa nan desu ka? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to while with uchi ni, and we'll get to the question times we missed in the next section. Okay, so uchi ni, the I think we've covered Uchini before, maybe in Genki 2. I can't remember exactly. But the book Quartet 2 only teaches a specific usage of Uchini. But it seems weird to just teach that on its own. And I can't remember if we've covered it or not. So I decided to just add a few examples of all the other possibilities as well. The version of Uchini that the book teaches is just with te iru. Te iru. Coming after the te iru form, it generally tends to mean that. While this thing was happening, this other thing happened.、Um, unex- like before, you- before I knew it, like suddenly this thing occurred while this other thing was still happening. So while I was sleeping, the house next door burned down, for example, just like that. That kind of uchini. So while I was sleeping, un- like without my knowledge or without noticing it, the house burned down or something like that, right? Um, that's the only version of Uchini that this covers, but it just means while.、Uh, it's a little bit different from Aida ni. Aida ni、um, means that something happened during a specific time frame, like a specific time frame from this time to this time, or within this amount of time or during this event, right? Uchi ni tends to be more unspecific, so it's not spe- a specific amount of time. It's,、um, it's maybe. While it's raining. So, like, you don't know when the rain is going to end. You might not know when it's going to start. So, while it's raining, something happens, or I do something, right? That's one of the versions.、Um, while I'm young,、uh, y- y- you sort of have a general idea of what's considered young, but that's changing all the time. And you don't know how you're, you know, how many years you're going to look young for. So, saying something like, while I was young, wakayuchini. So, while I'm young. Something, something, right? You couldn't use aida ni there because it's not a very specific time frame. You would use uchi ni. It's a little less specific. So, while this happened, I did this. Or while this happened, this occurred. Or while, yeah, while it was raining, someone else did this. Or while it was raining, this thing happened, right? Stuff like that. So, we use the short form of a verb, any conjugation, and any short form like te iru is fine.、Um, but otherwise, it's just the dictionary form. With uchi ni. E adjectives, uchi ni on their own, nothing between. Na adjectives need the na particle before. All right, anyway, na adjectives take na particle plus uchi ni. Nouns take no plus uchi ni. So noun no uchi ni. So during the noun and the noun, like, like it's not during an animal or something, it's during an event. An event name would be the noun or like a season. A season is also a noun. So during that season. And that's what we mean by noun. It's not going to be during Andy or something like that. That would just be weird. Unless we're talking about Andy's speech, but then something else is being dropped there, right? All right, the first example sentence we have is Hima ga aru uchi ni sugi no shigoto no junbi o shite okitai, okimasu. So while I still have free time, so Hima ga aru uchi ni, while I still have free time, I don't know how long I'm gonna have free time. Sugi no shigoto no junbi. So the preparations for my next work, whatever that may be, or my next job, or whatever. Well, I will prepare in preparation for when I don't have free time for my next task or my next job while I still have free time. Pizza wa atatakai uchi ni omeshiagari kudasai. 
So please eat the pizza while it's still warm. So pizza ga tatakai uchi ni. That's not a specific amount of time. It, a pizza isn't warm from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. It's warm for an unspecified amount of time. It's a state of being that occurs, right? So that's, you'd use uchi ni with that, not aida ni. So pizza ga tatakai uchi ni. While the pizza is warm, omeshiagari kudasai. That's a very polite, please eat it. Ando san ga inai uchi ni. So while Ando-san isn't here, you should eat and drink, you know, because he's going to eat and drink it all when he gets there. So, Ando-san ga inai uchi ni, while Ando-san isn't here. Tabetari nondari, so things like eat and drink, shita hou ga ii desu yo, you should do those things, you know. And what's implied here, for those of you who know anything about Ando-san, he needs to make a comeback, but he tends to eat and drink everything at the party. Next one is kodomo ga so while the kids are still taking a nap, or while the kid is still taking a nap, I want to finish the housework. So kodomo ga, subject is the child. O hiru ne wo, so while a uh, nap, wo shiteiru uchi ni. So while the kids are taking a nap, kaji wo warase tai. So we don't know how long it's going to be, but we want to get done with the housework while that's happening. Kazoku ga atsumatte iru uchi ni. So while the family is gathered, let's get a commemorative photo. Kazoku ga, so the subject is the family, atsumatte iru uchi ni, while they're all together, gathered together. Kinen satsue, kinen satsue, you're going to hear this all the time over here. Commemorative photo. Japanese people, I guess everyone does, but Japanese people really, really love their commemorative photos. Just lining everyone up in lines, they, you know, they start in school. Every single event in kindergarten, in elementary school, they could line the kids up in their perfect little orders and their perfect lines and take a picture at every single event, every single field trip. Do we do that back in the States? I don't know. I, we probably do. We probably do. But I feel like it's not nearly as organized or as guaranteed to happen. I don't know. It's a very, very common word. Kinensatsu, commemorative photo wo shimasho. Let's get a commemorative photo. Oboeteiru uchi ni. So while I still remember it, idea wo memo shimasu. I will write down my new idea. I'll break it down. Oboeteru uchi ni. So I don't know when I'm going to forget the thing. But while I remember it, atarashi idea wo, this new idea wo memo shimasu. I'm going to write it down. Yuki ga takusan tsumotteru uchi ni kamakura o tsukuro yo. So let's make an igloo. Kamakura is an igloo. It's also the name of a place, so be careful. But kamakura means igloo. While, so uchi ni. There is still lots of snow on the ground. Yuki ga takusan tsum. Tsumoru means to pile up. Tsumotte iru uchi ni. While it's piled up, kamakuro wo tsukuro yo. Let's make a kamakura. Okay, so I just realized that we don't actually have any example sentences until here that are based on the quartet. What, what quartet covered for uchi ni? So the first sentence in this lesson is the only sentence in our lesson that actually covers the version of uchi ni that quartet is covering. But it's a very, very small difference, which I explained at the beginning, and this sentence should cover it for you. So let's get Yuki over here to read this one. Diatomotachito,大学を楽しんでいるうちにいなくなったネットもたちと2年前にできた新しいネットもたちは何が違うのかって思っているかもしれないね。違いを言うとしたら、やはり話している頻度だね。あと、連絡の方法も違う。以前は考えずに知らない人とビデオチャットやプライベートメッセージをよくしていた。でも、今はそうじゃない。なんで
So while I was enjoying it with them, Inakunata Netomo uh to so with my online friends that disappeared, Ninemai ni dekita tarashi netomo tachi wa inakunata netomo to so this is actually a comparison to. So inakunata netomo to so the 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 online friends that disappeared. And that whole thing that to is marking the the noun which is netomo. But that whole noun is actually modified by the previous sentence, which is riatomo ta uh riatomo tachi to daigaku tanoshindeiru uchi ni nakunata netomo. That's that's the noun. That whole thing is being treated as the noun for the to, which is the and to. And. Um, but the the part of this sentence that is the the uchini that Cortet was talking about is that the te iru plus uchini and then something that happened without you noticing it, basically. So while I was doing this thing, this other thing happened without me noticing it before I knew it or something like that. And that is while I was having fun with my friends in university, my net friends disappeared without me noticing it. Okay, so that's the uchini, teiru uchini that Cortet is covering here. We got that covered. Okay, but that is all modifying the noun netomo to and ninemai ni dekita atarashi netomo tachi wa. So, and the online friends that I made in the last two years wa, that, that's all the topic. Nani ga chigao no ka? So, what is different? No ka is sort of like an emphasized, like, huh? What? What's different? You might be wondering, what is different between the real, uh, the online friends that I lost while I was having fun with my university friends and the online friends that I just started making in the past few years? So if I were to say what's different, if I were to say what's different, I'd have to say in the end, yahari. It's the amount we talk. Hindo is the frequency of something or the amount. Hindo. And it's a common word, not in the JLPT, apparently. The next part was ato, also. Denraku no hōhō mo chigao. That's a pretty easy sentence. Denraku no hōhō. So the way we get in touch or our way of correspondence. Mo is also chigao. It's also different. Izen wa, so before... Kangaizuni without thinking about it, Shiranai Hitoto, so with people I didn't know, video chat to ya, so video chat and private message, well, private message, that's all both are the direct object of Yoku Shita. I often did those things. Demo, but Ima wa soja nai. Now I don't. Ima wa soja nai. That is not the case. Or may, might be a better translation, but Nande Daro. Why I wonder? Online de Hitoto, so online with people, Hanasuno ga kuakunatta no kana. I wonder if it became scary. Question time. Jikan ga aru uchi ni shite okitai koto wa nan desu ka? So, what is something you want to do while you still have time in preparation for when you don't have time? Jikan ga aru uchi ni, so while I have time, heya no soji o shite okitai desu. I want to do the house cleaning. Heya no soji, so house cleaning basically, wo shite okitai. I want to do it. 時間があるうちにおやつ、おやつ用のブラウニーを焼いておきます。So while I still have time, or while I have time, I want to make brownies. I want to bake brownies for snack time. All right, so how about you guys? While you still have time, what do you want to do? In its own way, or in their own style, with noun narini. So for noun narini, it's quite simple to create. You just put narini after a Noun. Uh, Quartet presents this as just, uh, I don't, they don't explicitly say you can only use it for people, but they only present examples using people. And in their descriptions or explanations of how to use it, they say that it's used for describing people. So people doing things in their own style or in their own way. And it can be used for lots of other things as well. So we're going to give you some example sentences with not just people because there's there's plenty of fun ways to use narini. Yochien de wa kodomo tachi wa kodomo tachi nari ni kangaete manande imasu. So in kindergarten, kids are thinking in their own way and learning. So yochien de, so in kindergarten. Um, kindergarten in Japan, it's slightly different than what we think of as kindergarten if you're from the United States. In your country, in every country, it's probably a little bit different. What I'm used to is you go to preschool from about 
when, whenever your parents have to send you there until you're about four or, or five. If you go to four, then you go to pre-kindergarten for one year and then kindergarten for one year when you're about six. In Japan, it's a little bit different. In Japan, you have hoikuen, which is daycare, basically. It's just daycare. And you can start from almost any age and it goes up until you're five or six. You can graduate and then go to elementary school. Or there's yochien. Yochien is generally speaking from the time you're three years old until you graduate when you turn six. So there's three grades. And some yochiens have a lower grade, sort of prepping kids for kindergarten. Um, but hoikuen is just a daycare. They're not necessarily teaching you much. You're just playing games, having fun, playing outside, maybe doing some class activities, whatever. Whereas yochien is a little bit more... There's a little bit, not a lot, but there's a little bit extra, like actual class time stuff. You might actually learn hiragana. You might have a music class. You might have an English class from like three or four years old, right? So that's a big difference between hoikuen and kindergarten. Hoikuen probably isn't going to be having music classes and English classes. Yochien will. But anyway, in kindergarten, yochien dewa, in kindergarten, that's a topic. Kodomo tachi wa, so kids. They're the topic now. Again, we're emphasizing what's coming next mostly. Uh, Deva is also emphasizing what's coming next here, more so than just making it a new topic. But kodomo tachi wa kodomo tachi nari ni. So the kids are doing, thinking in their own way, kangaite and learning. So they're thinking in their own way, kodomo tachi nari ni, thinking in the way of children or in their own style and learning. Manande mas. Watashi nari ni benkyo gambatta tsumori deshita ga testo wa anmari yoi ten ga toremasen deshita. I intended to study hard in my own way, but I didn't get a very good grade on the test. So, watashi nari ni, so in my own way, benkyo wo gambatta tsumori deshita ga, so benkyo wo gambatta tsumori deshita means I, I intended to work hard and study in my own way, or I intended that I had worked hard and studied in my own way, but ga, testo wa anmari yoi ten ga toremasen deshita. I didn't get a good grade on the test. Testo wa, test is a new topic, anmari yoi ten. Not so good of a points ga toremasen deshita. I remember with anmari it has to be a negative, so toremasen deshita. Natsu wa totemo atsui kedo natsu nari ni tanoshi ibento mo takusan aru. So summer is very hot, but there are many events that are unique to summer. So remember, I said that quartet generally just says has people for narini, but you can use other things like summer. Natsu narini. So unique to summer. Tanoshi ibento mo takusan aru. Natsu wa totemo atsui kedo. So summer is very hot, but natsu narini, unique to summer. Tanoshi ibento mo takusan aru. There's, there's many fun events then too. So in order to make a healthy body, you need hard work as suits the occasion. So sore nari ni is actually sort of a, a, an idiom or phrase that you can use to mean as suits the occasion or as necessary in that occasion, right? So here we have kenko na karada, so a healthy body wo tsukuru tame ni, for the purpose of making a healthy body ni wa. So that's emphasizing what comes next and marking it the, before it as a topic. Sore nari ni doryoku ga hitsuyo desu. So as suits that occasion, as suits your, your wish to make a healthy body, doryoku ga hitsuyo desu. You need hard work or you need hard work that that suits that occasion. Sore nari ni doryoku ga hitsuyo desu. Nani ka ni choosen suru toki wa sore nari ni yuki ga iru. So when you challenge yourself at something, you need boldness that suits the occasion. So nani ka ni, so at something or in the direction of something, chosen suru toki, when you challenge yourself to something, va, so that's a topic, sore nari ni yuki ga iru, you need boldness or bravery that suits the occasion. And that brings us to our story. Okay, we have one more nari ni sentence in here that should be helpful. Let's get yuki to come hang out with us again. オンラインで人と話すよりもオンラインで人と話す方が簡単だと思っていたけど今の俺は逆だ。オンラインのボイスチャットやズームで話す方が倍以上緊張してしまう。おかしいとよくわかっている。
自分なりに理由を考えてみたけどやっぱりわからない昔はあんなにオンラインで人と話すのが好きだったのに一体何が変わったんだろう Perfect, okay. Okay, so let's break the first part down. We have 実際の人と話すよりも So more so than talking to real people オンラインで人と話す方が So uh, 簡単だと思っていたけど So I thought that talking to people online is easier than talking to people in real life. So let's break it down a little bit. We have 実際の人と So with real people Real people or people in real life と話すよりも So less than talking to people in real life Online で So utilizing the internet で人と話す方が Uh, talking to people online more 簡単だと思っていたけど I had thought that talking to people online was easier 簡単だと思っていたけどね Then talking to real life people But 今の俺は逆だ So me now I'm the opposite So 今の俺 Me now は topic 逆だ逆 means opposite and I'm the opposite オンラインのボイスチャットや Zoom で、そう、オンラインボイスチャット、things like オンラインボイスチャット and Zoom で、utilizing those、話す方が、そう、talking on those、utilizing them to talk、more that、uh,、倍以上、そう、more than double、倍 is double、そう、more than double、緊張してしまう、そう、I get nervous more than double when I talk。To people online in voice chat or zoom kind of a weird translation there that's just a literal translation obviously and the dropped part here is of course because we already said it up here talking to people in real life so uh, so we just dropped that part because we've already mentioned it we know it from context right i understand i'm very aware that this is strange i'm very aware that this is strange 自分なりに理由を考えてみたけど、やっぱりわからない。So I tried to think of a reason unique to me, but as expected, I don't know what's up. So 自分なりに理由。So a reason unique to me, or in my own style. を考えてみたけど、I thought of, I tried to think of one, but やっぱりわからない。I don't know. 昔は、a long time ago, あんなにオンラインで、人と話すのが好きだったのに、even though I liked talking to people online、so、that much in the past、一体何が変わったんだろう ?What the heck changed? 一体、uh, means what the heck。一体何が変わったんだろう ?And it can be combined with だろう a lot. So what the heck changed? Pretty heavy duty, right? Once again, that will be available for you to break down on your own if you'd like to on the website. I know a lot of you are members of the website, so you can go through that and read it on your own as well if you'd like to break it down a little bit more on your own with something, some tool like Yomi-chan or something, right? So the question time for this section is Anata nari ni ganbatte iru koto wa nan desu ka? So what's something you're working hard on in your own way? So an example could be Watashi nari ni, so unique to my, in my own way. Kenko kangaite ryori o s h t e i m a s I'm thinking of my health and cooking. 私なりに育児を頑張っています。育児 is 子育てってことですかね。So, in my own way, I'm working hard at raising children. Okay, so how about you? What's something you're working on hard in your own way? So, our next section is to be picky about, or to be, yeah, to be picky about with noun にこだわる。So, this can also be, and actually, most grammar books will point at At, um, to be particular about or fussy about something.、Um, I always had trouble finding or explaining to people the word picky in English when I was learning. And this is actually a perfect fit for how we use picky when we're talking in English. So <clears throat> I marked this as to be picky. Now, ni ko da wa ru. So to be picky about a thing or to be particular about a certain thing. にこだわる。絞りたての牛乳にこだわ,こだわって作ったチーズ。So this is cheese that was made with fresh milk.So I have a,、um, 
an asterisk here. And that's because we're going to talk really quickly about one other way that koldawaru is used a lot in Japanese advertising and when talking about food. And that is not how we use picky. It's a little bit different. Um, this sentence literally translated would be cheese that I was picky about having uh, freshly squeezed milk. And this would sound really good in an advertisement, this Japanese sentence, right? But the sentence I just gave you in English, the literal translation, would would not. Sounds sounds terrible. So that doesn't sound bad as in undelicious. It just doesn't sound like good English. So cheese that I made by being picky about the milk being freshly squeezed, right? Nobody would write that in ad copy. So I just wrote ad copy friendly English sort of. This is cheese that was made with fresh milk or freshly squeezed milk. Actually, it should have been freshly squeezed milk. <laughs> anyway, shibori tate means freshly squeezed, not gyunyu, gyunyu. So that's not picky, right? It's more, it's, it's, in, it's pointing out that we were particular about it, but we can't really express it nicely in English, okay? But just know that this is going to be very common in Japanese copy. You're just going to have a hard time actually showing where the kodawaru is in the English. And probably in actual nice, good translations, it won't show up in the translation at all. So we were particular about land and raised vegetables. So we were picky about land and raised vegetables. This could also point out that maybe it was organic or something. But anyway, So we were particular about land and raised vegetables. Andy wa pasokon no keyboard ni totemo kodawatte. So Andy is very particular about keyboards and he customized one himself. I'm not talking third person right here. Yuki wrote the sentence, so don't don't hate on me for that. Anyway, Andy wa, so as for me, Pasokon no keyboard ni so computer keyboards ni kodawari. You in a, in, right, we have noun ni kodawari. And between the ni and the kodawari, you can have uh, adverbs to emphasize kodawari. Like totemo. Kodawatte so is extremely particular about or extremely or very picky about keyboards for the computer. Jibun de so on his own customushimashita. He customized one himself. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. Yeah, it's not gonna show up. It's it's I've got it stuck be behind a bunch of stuff. Alright, our next one is Kenko wo Kenko wo kangairu to Ryoyori Shitsuni Kodawatte. So when I think about health, I want to choose things based on their quality more than amount. Okay, so kenko wo, so that's uh, health is going to be the direct object of kangairu. So when I think about health, to kangairu to, uh, so that to is the when. So when I think about health, ryoyori, so less than amount, shitsu ni kodawatte, so I want to be picky about what's in them, shitsu, the, the, the raw materials in it, basically. Shitsu ni kodawatte. So be picky about or particular about that. Tabemono wa erabitai. I want to pick food based on being picky about what's in them, as opposed to how much of the item there is. Watashi wa masuku no design ni anmari kodawaranai kedo kanarazu mai ni chitsukemasu. I'm not very picky about mask design, but I wear one every day without fail. You have to in Japan. Everyone wears a mask everywhere. Um... You'd get some weird looks if you didn't right now. I feel like we are going... I feel like even if the pandemic ends, it'll be years before before people stop wearing masks outside in Japan. I think that's just going to be... The, people just will never stop. People love wearing masks here. They always did. There's people that used to wear masks just for fashion because they didn't want to show their face in public. Before the pandemic. Long before it. Like, there were people. They would just wear masks because they think it made their face look smaller or silly things like that. So I don't think this is ever going to end here. But anyway, this is I'm not very picky about mask design. Watashi wa, so as for me, mask no design. So masks design ni. So in that direction, amari. And once again, you can have adverbs in between the ni and the kodawaru. So amari kodawaranai. So I don't or I'm not picky about the design. But kanarazu mainichi tsukemasu. And this sentence kind of sounds like they just have it on all the time, even when they're at home. But that's not the case. People take them off at home. Anyway. Kare wa. Okay, so here we have the first instance of kodawari, which is actually a noun, I believe. I believe kodawari is a noun. Kodawari. 
uh, yes, it's a noun that is based on that verb, I guess. And it, it means an, a hang up or a fixation or a pickiness and a trait or a obsession. It's basically the same thing. It's just in noun form. So you use it a little bit differently. This is also quite frequently, uh, it frequently shows up in ad copy. So, kare wa, so he, fuku no style ni, so in the direction of clothes style, zenzen kodawari ga nai. So he doesn't have any pickiness. So pickiness, right? That's the noun. At all about clothing style. If you were to use the verb instead here, it would be kare wa fuku no style ni zenzen kodawaranai. Okay, that would also be fine. Which brings us to the final part of the, the, the journal entry type of thing. So let's bring Yuki back on screen. リアトモダケニコダワラズニ ネットもっと楽しく話したいと思っているんだ。最近はディスコードというアプリのおかげでまたネットも増えてきたから嬉しい。これからもよろしくね。ネットもよろしくです。はい、let's <笑> So I still don't understand the reason. Liu wa wakaranai. The reason I don't understand. Mama dakeredo. The mama is, I'm in the same situation of still not understanding. I still don't understand the reason, but. Ore wa, so as for me. Riatomo dake ni kodawarazu ni. So without being stuck on or being picky about, without being picky about real life friends or being stuck on them, like. Uh, and by that, I'm implying only wanting to hang out with real life friends as opposed to online friends, right? So without being picky about only hanging out with real life friends, dake ni kodawarazu, nettomoto, so with online friends, motto tanoshiku, more fun, hanashitai to omotte irunda. I want to talk to and have fun with my online friends as well. Saikin wa, recently, Discord to you apri, so an app called Discord, no okage de, thanks to an app called Discord, mata netomo ga fuete kita kara ureshi. My online friends are increasing again, which makes me happy. Mata again, netomo online friends ga, as a subject, fuete kita. They've come to increase. So, kara ureshi, I'm happy. Final line, kore kara mo yoroshiku ne, netomo. So from now on as well, let's have fun, okay? Ah, let's have fun, okay? Online friend? I can say that better. From now on as well, let's have fun. Okay, online friend? Kore kara mo yoroshiku ne? Nettomo. That's you. Nettomo. All right, question time is... Anata ga fuku o kao toki ni kodawatte iru tokoro wa nan desu ka? So what is, are you picky about when you buy clothes? Design, color, what it's made of? For example, we have jeans wa skinny no design ni kodawatte imasu. So for me, jeans, I'm um, picky about the design being skinny. Uh, the next one is natsuyo no shirts wa simple na design de asa ni kodawatte imasu. So for nat for natsu, for summer clothes or for summer shirts, uh, with a simple design made from asa, I believe is hemp. I'm picky about, linen. huh? Linen. linen. Asa is linen. I thought it was hemp. Asa. Uh, hemp, it can hemp, be both, hemp. right? Linen or hemp. I'm picky about them being linen and simple in design. So how about you? When you buy clothes, what are you picky about? Thumbs up wo kogeki shite kudasai. Please Hai. smash the thumbs up button and channel toroku onegai shimasu. And Hai. please subscribe to the channel. If you made it to this point in the video and you haven't yet, I'm sad. Please do that for us. It's really helpful, but you don't have to. But anyway, if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the bell so you know when we go live next time with one of these streams. And thank you for hanging out tonight. We've had a great time with you guys. I hope you learned a little something. Add time. See you later, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See bye you nada. Bye. <laughs> See you nada. <laughs> <laughs> to use these books to learn Japanese in 2022? We explain all the grammar from these books and more here on YouTube in detail. And on Tokiniandy.com, we have tons of extra grammar explanations, interactive practice exercises with Yuki and I, native shadowing exercises so you can get practice speaking even when you're by yourself, 
tests, and even progress bars to track your progress through the book. We also plan on beginning to add tons of level-appropriate immersion material throughout 2022. We even have a new exclusive community for members where they can ask questions, help each other, and even play silly Japanese word games. Over 1,800 people have already utilized the Tokini Andy and Yuki premium content. Join the community today and kickstart your Japanese learning journey.